Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to my channel. It's been a little while since I've uploaded, uh, but of course as you know my situation, I've run out of Wi-Fi battles, this is the last one I have. Um, fortunately I'm going to be back home on Wednesday, but yeah, we're down to the, the, the dregs, the, the bottom of the barrel. Although this is actually a pretty good match that I had against Rick uh, a while ago. This is a roulette that we took on my stream, and uh, it's just kind of been sitting there in my versus recorder file uh, for a little bitty. And now of course is the time to use it because i got nothing else, and um, it was the last thing uh, on, on my list. So I'll lead off with Starmie, and uh, I get a really nice lead against his goal. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty fantastic. Uh, goes into his jelly thingy. What's the mini one? Frillish? Frillish. I've used it enough times in Challenge Cup, I should know his name by now. Um, but I decide to be safe on the first turn, go for Hydro Pump. Uh, obviously, he's going to take that nicely, and then go for a T-Ball as he switches the thing in. I was contemplating, you know, being a bit risky and going for T-Ball on the first turn, but, you know, didn't want to go for it so uh, end up doing the easy uh, two hit KO option here uh, unfortunately get burned in the process which isn't too much of uh, a big deal because obviously I have natural cure I can switch star me out my Takamaru ninja's castle ninja star flying blade will be fine it's it's okay so he's gonna go into it and stuff because you know that's you know, that's what people say with their narrations I, I don't know why it's called it that's probably some deeper meaning but um, that's all I'm gonna infer from it as I switch into Charizard which is a horrible switch poor old char lizard uh taking thunderbolt to the face and fortunately i will be faster so i'm gonna be able to nail it with a fire blast specs fire blast i'll have you know gonna do a huge amount of damage but ladies and gentlemen pokemon are falling like flies here i managed to not take him out but burn and uh, the t-ball is gonna take me out but i believe that uh, the burn's gonna take him. Maybe I'll leave him with like a nubbin smidgen, like the little ittiest bittiest amount, and uh, then I'll have to f finish him off. He leaves with three. Come on, man. Come on. I ain't dealing with this nonsense. Uh, fortunately, I have a scarf man shower, so I'm gonna come in just U turn out on that thing and uh, finish. Uh, Mish Major, Miss Ma Miss Drevis, Drevis. Oh God, be out of Pokemon for like three days, and this is what happens. I forget everything. So I U turn everything. I mean, there's like everything's died right now. There's like four things that are dead. So quick pace match so far, and uh, I like it. Quick pace matches are good. Uh, you tend to get that with Roulette though, because there are so many random things thrown in there that you don't really know what's going on. So I go into Loopy Doop, my good old Volbeat, which is the sub. Encore nasty no tail glow that's the move it gets tail glow sub encore tail glow baton pass so sub first of all just to see what he wants to go for then I'm going to end up encoring him into shadow punch which would then allow me to go into a normal type because he's locked into it but I don't think I actually have any normal types on my team so that was a little bit short sighted however I do see the opportunity to set up a tail glow here seeing as I can live another shadow punch so I'm going to do just that uh, take the hit pretty well and then I'm just kind of sitting there twiddling my thumbs and looking at my team I'm like let me Zed you don't have any special attackers on this team. The best thing you have is a Mian Chao with Hidden Power Ice. You just tail glowed for what reason? I don't know, guys. I just, look, these things happen. I don't control them. But it's just what's going to happen, isn't it? So I go into Mian Chao. Uh, his encore ends there. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I don't care. I'm going for HP Ice. I have plus three. Maybe it will kill a Golak. Who knows? Uh, it's probably not going to because lack of stab and everything. But look, it comes pretty close. Pretty close. 57 HP, hey? You know, not too bad. Unfortunately, you will be able to take me out with an Earthquake. And that is going to spell the end of my Mian Xiao. Uh, however, if you've been playing, playing, paying close attention, uh, you'll know that I actually have two Mian Xiaos on this team. Because that's how roulette works sometimes. Sometimes, guys, you get multiple species and there is no species clause in roulette. So that's just how we're going to go. I still have Mian Xiao remaining, which is great because I think they were both scarfed and they both have U-turn. Fantastic. So, uh, revenge kill with my Ninja Star, and now he goes into Venomoth, which is a royal pain. I really make a bad error here, staying in it on this thing, because it can easily just sleep powder, quiver dance, do all that stuff. Uh, I end up missing the Hydro Pump, which doesn't help my cause, but I probably shouldn't have any business staying in there on the first place, so that was kind of um, a bad idea. He's going to second quiver dance here, double, double dance, right in my face, and I... Pfft, I guess I Hydro Pump again, I I shouldn't really be set, letting this thing set up on me, but hey, you know, it, apparently it's going to be able to do that, um, and I just, I'm going to die now to a Bug Buzz, so, unfortunately Starmie's going to go down, I don't know what I have left on my team that's going to be able to deal with this thing, but I better have something, um, I'm probably going to go to my Loopy Doop and Encore it into a move, uh, because that way I can force it uh, to do what I want, 
Although I could also go into Kajondo because that's how stuff works sometimes. He's actually going to baton. Oh yeah, right. He baton passes out instead of uh, hitting me because he can't actually KO me with any of his moves. I remember now because I'm fighting type, obviously. So I go for the Stone Edge as he baton passes it into Empoleon. I'm like, God damn it, Rick! Really? I, I thought he was going to stay in, but that's what happens. Uh, it goes into Empoleon. Now Empoleon has plus two special attack and everything else, and I'm just like, well, this is horrible until ladies and gentlemen i switch as he subs and if you know the mechanics uh, of encore and prankster you know that this is just going to be glorious for me because i can encore him before he has the chance to hit me with any move get him to lock himself into substitute and all of a sudden a horrendous situation where he was going to potentially sweep me with a plus two plus two empoleon turns into a glorious amazing opportunity for me to go into my sharpedo set up a substitute of my own and end up eventually being faster than him because of the fact that i have speed boost ladies and gentlemen the plan is coming into practice bill Bullet Bill, my man in charge. He's here. He's ready. He's going to fire off some hits. Um, unfortunately, the Encore does end because the Encore is horrible in this generation. I really don't like it. It's part of the reason I don't use Shuckle that much anymore. It's because Encore just blows. It's just not as good. And um, yeah, this is complete obvious here. Because complete obvious. Yes, this is the English language that I do am speak. That I do am speak. Um, so, as you can see, uh, he's able to break myself with a, a surf. However, because I have had two turns to stay in, that means I have two turns of speed boost, which means because my Sharpedo is naturally faster than his Empoleon, even though he also has two speed boosts, I am going to come out on top. Kill him with an Earthquake, and now I'm at plus three after that turn has ended. So, I'm pretty sure an Earthquake's not going to kill Cabalion, because it's naturally bulky, and it has good, you know, defense in general, and hell, does hardly uh, enough to where I can kill it, and um, a crit would have done it, but unfortunately, I am not granted that opportunity. He's able to live it with one, two, nine, go for the Vault Switch, take me out. And uh, it's looking interesting here. He's got this motor goat. He's got his Venomoth. And I think I'm down to like Mian Shao and my Volby. So it's going to be close. It's going to be a close one. I'll tell you that much. Free. Uh, I go to Kajano now. Uh, and here was the toss up. Do I go for the high jump kick predicting him? Or do I go for the stone edge just being safe? I decided... You know what? I'm just going to go for the Stone Edge. I don't want to risk anything. Unfortunately, not only does he switch, but he also dodges the Stone Edge. So not playing into my favor with the hitting here. Hydro Pump missing earlier and the same with Stone Edge. Uh, but I guess that's expected to happen when your name is MBZ because Hydro Pump never works for me and Stone Edge either does either. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, though, Loopy Doop bringing out all of the stops lives the close combat, I'll have you know. Lives the freaking close combat. Can't really do much in return, unfortunately. Uh, that's just the way it goes because um, I only have prankster moves to deal out and Encore is the best thing I can really go for. Uh, so that's what I do. Um, lock him into close combat. Uh, make sure that he drops his defense even more so that I can potentially go into Kajondo and go first. Turn. You know what? I could have done that. But I didn't. I went for high jump kick. It was the question of, you know, do I risk it with Stone Edge because I know close combat was going to kill me? Because uh, I don't think Stone Edge would have killed it with even minus two, which is the problem. So... There we go, I went for the high jump kick, I had to, and now I'm locked into high jump kick. So this is not doing a lot of damage to Venomoth, it looks like a 3 hit KO. And Rick knows that he's not going to be able to kill me unless he gets to at least like plus 2. And even at plus 2 it's going to be like a 2 hit KO. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a time ticking, talk ticking, time bomb ticking away is what I'm trying to say. And now it rhymed, hey 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 hey. Um, I'm going for high jump kicks, he's quiver dancing. We're at a moment here where I'm thinking it's very close. It looks like I can potentially take him out with Kyondo. Will I be able to do so? Will Mienchao pull me through? Will his whiskers and moustache sail me on? boat out into the ocean i actually dodged the sleep powder so it's looking good here can we kill him no 4 hp oh my lord as long though ladies and gentlemen as i can get a first turn wake then we'll be okay so there's still there's still an opportunity for me to win this i tell you if i wake up if i don't snooze on the job for too long kajondo could awaken from his deep slumber like some kind of sarcophagus awakened and take out the venom off finishing the game will i get the first turn wake is going down it's a two-hit ko if i don't wake up it's game over and i don't kajondo mien Shao, unfortunately sleeping on the job like a cat does lazy as crap 
And he is going to be taken out by the second bug buzz and loses by a marginal. A marginal! 64 HP, ladies and gentlemen. A fun game, a very close game. It was back and forth, up and down, left and right. Everywhere, I tell you what, everywhere. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will be back to normal schedule on Wednesday, Thursday-ish. Because I'm getting back on Wednesday evening, so I probably won't be able to do much then. But Thursday, uh, I'm going to be recording Heavy Rain. Fire Emblem will start again. Everything will be back in motion. The wheels will go churning, churning like the roundabout, like the round, like the bus. The wheels on the bus, they that's the nursery rhyme. The wheels on the bus go round and round, and so they shall continue to. So thank you very much. Do leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and go check out Rick. He uploads daily, uh, the highest quality uploads, like five videos a day, uh, really consistent and extremely uh, great. So just <laughs> go do that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.